Hi, my name is David and we have a new handset to review, the Cubot Note S, which just recently came to the Kenyan market. Let's do this. If I'm going to love nothing completely about this phone, I would still be very much in love with the Cubot tagline. Stop following, take the lead, especially because I know it speaks loud and clear to those who are owning a smartphone for the very first time in their lives. We have a beautiful 5.5 inch display which has a resolution of about 1280 by 720. That is not full HD, but it still gives you a good resolution for an entry level phone. The Note S runs on a 1.3 GHz quad core processor added to the 2 gigs of RAM. Sounds like an entry level machine. Yes, it is an entry level machine, but good news is it also does help bring down the price because Kilimall will deliver this phone to your doorstep at just 8,888 shillings. The rear camera is actually made by Samsung, if that actually helps. Yes, and it's 8.0 megapixel, it has a flash. The front camera is 5.0 megapixel and has beauty mode. It does have the, the back speaker as well, meaning if you put it down, and you're playing some music or you're listening to the radio via the speaker that would be a little muffled you may have to do something like that i was going to talk about the internal memory is 16 gb that is pretty impressive but it has also a dedicated memory slot which allows you up to 32 gigabytes of extra storage so you can have that right there it also has slots for dual micro sims let's talk about the battery which can give you up to three days of Stand by time and one and a half or two days depending on how you use it. Having said many things already about the phone, let's look at the operating system and it runs on the Android 5.1 version and that is the Lollipop. This is pretty much ordinary and that is what comes with the phone but for just 500 shillings more you could have a choice of this or even this. Find by art defined by love it could be anything else it could be any other color but with an african feel now the phone itself comes in at least three colors there is black there is white and there is a color that would classify as brown well my understanding of color is a little twisted so forgive me if i mislead you but yes you'll find at least three amazing colors so what do i think about this phone it handles very well honestly feels very good in the hands and looks really smart and I think the price is also really good I mean it's affordable to most of us so out of 10 I would actually give this phone a 6 how about that for an entry-level phone really good see you next time when we review another gadget